All right, so the second book that I looked at was a, a book called Divergent. Um, and the co-cultures in this book are um, that there's five different like factions or clans that you go into once you reach a certain age. Um, so like you can choose which way you want to go in life, kind of like each faction has, has a different like specialty. Um, and then there's also a group of people called the Divergent that uh, is just a group of people that are a little bit more advanced um, than like everyone else, but they're a threat to like the government in the book. Um, so the government tries to like take them out, um, but they're all just innocent good people, but they just are a little bit different. Um, so that's another cold culture. And then uh, so vocab from chapter one is metacommunication because it's a book. So they're talking about like uh, communication in the book. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but like people in the book are talking about their conversations going on. Um, intentional communication because uh, the main main person in the book um, ends up being like a leader of like the diver divergent so um, like when she's talking with the mass of people that she's trying to help or to the government that she's trying to go against she's very intentional with what she's saying uh, explicit rules um, and implicit rules because um, an explicit rule is like you go to these factions once you get to a certain age and then an implicit rule is um, apparent like the government wants to exterminate all the divergent so like that's a implicit rule I guess you could say for the government um, like it's not spoken obviously because it's a bad thing but they're just um, like they're not their goal but well I guess honestly yeah their goal is to get rid of all the diversion so that's like an implicit rule for them uh, vocab from two chapter two is collect collectivism um, just because it's like a group of people all uh, communicating together, uh, working together. Um, <clears throat> high context norms and high power dimensions just because of like the way the government treats the, um, the common people um, and just like how they interact with uh, the different groups. And then I, um, from chapter one in the book Quiet, um, this is how I related to the book Divergent, it's talking about uh, the character's metamorphosis from a farm boy to a salesman, um, and um, <laughs> um, like to public speaking uh, icon, so it's like showing how he started in one spot and then like kind of grew up and went to like another group, which is what happens in Divergent, like you're born into a faction, but then I think once you're like 18, I think is the age that you like pick where you want to go, so it's kind of relates to um it's like similar like you go from one thing when you're born and then like throughout your life you like go through this cultural evolution i guess so you kind of become more cultured in certain things and um like go, like you're at a different spot um when you're older than you were when you were younger so yeah